it's week two of the 2022 season, and we'll see Dalvin Cook. Terrific a week ago, well over 100 yards and several stops in the end zone. It's the Vikings and the Eagles on Monday Night Primetime. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight we wrap up an intriguing week two with a good Monday night match between the Minnesota Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. And if you look back to last week, it was all about their defense. Anytime you hold an NFL team to single digits, that's saying something. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Vikings, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us-against-the-world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. Bringing them out now in his fourth season after, of course, a memorable 2019 debut. It's Gardner Minshew. And how about this young man? Took the NFL world by storm as a six-round rookie, signature mullet, mustache, but 21 touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great personality, and everyone gravitates towards this guy. Teammates love to win with a quarterback who leads them like that, and fans love to root for a guy who seems just like them. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The numbers for Sanders last week, north of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what, he understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. And no doubt in my mind, it'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Minshew. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10, right at the 40. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Looking to throw it. Minshew. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And the Vikings are going to beef up their secondary here. Six DBs on third. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Our game here, the Vikings and Eagles, the second of two on this Monday night. The Titans and Bills kicked off a little over an hour ago up in Buffalo. And this, our only Monday night doubleheader of the season, but rumor is might have a few more for 2023. Yeah. 
Minshew, first and ten. Complete. Smith has it. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Four yards remain for second down. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders has third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early. Great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. He'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. Touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the six. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Vikings offense coming out for the first time and in his fifth season leading this crew, coming off his third career Pro Bowl nod, Kirk Cousins. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. Off the play fake, Cousins. The complete, this is Albert Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. From the 31, Cousins. That's complete to the receiver, Thieler. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Safety gets the sack. So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. And yeah, the next-gen stat's going to illustrate just how quickly the quarterback has to process everything as he was on the ground in under three seconds, 2.9 to be precise. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. On the move past the 40. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 32-yard line. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. A run there with Cook on first down, but it won't net him much, maybe a yard. Second down coming up. Pretty much unreal, not just in terms of yardage, Charles, but also throwing the three touchdowns as well. When you put the whole package together, I can make you a pretty good guarantee right now. <laughs> He's going to see yeah. a few more people in the box every time he lines up. Yeah, I don't think that the defense has any choice. They've got to stop him. Can't let a repeat performance like that. Agreed. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Well, this defense for the Eagles terrific last week in the season opening victory. And what keyed their victory? 
the pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks. And plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield when all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. Give him six yards in the first down. From the red zone now, Cousins. And incomplete on the deep ball. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back in the See the effort of Hassan Reddick. You call plenty of games in your career. Do you believe in momentum, momentum? I do, and I think we're seeing it right here. Oh, no, there's no doubt about it. The run that he's been on. How about that? Three sacks in a game a week ago, and another one right here. Oh, he's feeling it in a big way. Third and long for Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact didn't have to join that ball up fourth down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Now Sam Sloman is on. This a 43-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. This offense returns to the field, and the former Penn State star, Miles Sanders, we get a look at him. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 25 on second down, Minshew. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. Someone sharp in this game. We had a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill and they went through all the different situations. That hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10, right at the 40. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll go again with Sanders. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 
After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. They'll go option to the short side, and he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four in search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun is Minshew. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there. That brings up fourth. The kick by Elliott is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. They start the drive with Cook. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw, Cousins. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. And Cook has it, left side. And a good job defensively to stop the short at first at the 32. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Now on is the punter Charlton now as he's able to get this one away. Look at the spin. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. So here are the Eagles to take over. Last week, good result. They were able to beat the Detroit Lions, and now they are on the good side of the scoreboard right now as well. Middle of the field, he finds Pascal. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. But when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. And Pascal's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 27. Minshew sets to throw. And that is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down marker at the Vikings' 18-yard line. 48 yards on the ground for him so far. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because in a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They'll run with Sanders. He pushes forward from maybe 3 down to the 6-yard line. The 6-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. Sanders 
His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. Well, this offensive unit, yeah, they were solid in the opening week victory, and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two. And that's exactly what you want, too, because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on. I know it's still early in the season and a lot can happen, but this offense, they look like they're going to be fun to watch each and every time out. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is now 17-3. So that guy takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They go play action. Cousins. And he completes it to Wilson. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. Play action, Cousins. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Cousins. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And he'll take this all the way down inside the field. Oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. But they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, then shoot a throw. Toward the sideline, it's complete. An athletic grab, but still well short of the first. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you get the ball up, what's the first thing the coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Cousins. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. This defense is certainly organized and coming off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to end up incomplete. Down Joseph Charlton on to punt. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it will be Eagles football first and 10. 
Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Last time out, you remember their drive stall, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play call, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Second down, back to Sanders. And he is going to lose yardage here. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Minshew. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and the lead will stay put at 17. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. That one caught along the sideline. Did he stay in? Yes, he did. But hang on here. A penalty marker is on the field. So they were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. Usually going to pick up the holding tackle. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Cousins now from the 50. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there keeping the toes in bounds. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Cousins to throw it. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And here's Joseph Charlton now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Looking to throw again on second down. Minshew. This is Smith with a grab. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Minshew's throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Well, that's complete to Sanders. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Here's Minshew. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. 
and both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. It'll be Minshew again. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and it's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Devontae Smith's workload certainly didn't get any light. Yeah, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Looking to throw it, Minshew. complete with 11 seconds remaining now an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and 10 they'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw pass to Brown he's got it on the crossing route and he gets this inside the 10 to the 9 it's also a gain of 9 so we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where it was the visiting Dolphins who come away victorious on the road. Cedric Wilson leading the way with three touchdown catches. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Van Jefferson, a touchdown catch in the victory. Finally, let's get right to the center of the U.S. map and check in on the Chiefs at home in Kansas City. And they were winners in that one over the visiting L.A. Chargers. Patrick Mahomes, five touchdown passes, leading his guys to the victory. With that, we take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Vikings, and they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half, and it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they were much more successful throwing the football than their counterparts, as you can see the numbers there. Both these teams making their final halftime adjustments. We're just about ready to get back to football. So for the call of the second half, we get back up to Philadelphia and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And the Vikings set to go on offense to begin the third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Cousins. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he's fortunate to get anything from that, give him a yard up to the 49. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Cousins. Caught. It's Wilson. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. This offense in desperate need of conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. 
And he will have a Vikings first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Back to the ground, Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. So the completion results are in nine yards. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. Loss of a yard, and it brings up four. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. That is inches from the upright. It's no good. Wind to the left, and the deficit will stay at three scores. Uh, you know that they were thinking second-half comeback here. That's a big miss if they want to have a chance at that comeback. A very big miss because time is becoming a real factor now, and they're three scores down. After the missed kick, they're in really good position. They'll begin this drive at the 39 now. They start on the ground here at Sanders, and he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler throw. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 75 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll go play action here with Minshew. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. Minshew sets to throw. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And he is in to the end zone. Touchdown! Miles Sanders, his third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. But I'll tell you what, Charles, I know that you don't put a ton of stock into power rankings and things of that nature, but another score here, and 
two weeks into the season, this is maybe the most impressive team in the NFL. Would you agree? Well, they've certainly sold me as they've sold you. And I agree with you, no question about it. They won easily last week. They're on their way to another lopsided victory here. They're definitely a team to be reckoned with, and they are serving notice to the rest of the league. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On right, second down, it's Cook again. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing his cousins. And that one goes incomplete on the drive. That's one of the definitely catches. Fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is taken around the 12. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now Minshew on first and 10. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Off play action, it's Minshew. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. If you don't take a shot down, I feel second one is a perfect time to do it. If you're going to be in heavy run defense, you should have good windows to throw it downfield. And it looked like there was something there right after the snap, but the defense able to recover. On third down, they're running with Sanders. They had some room to work. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Another run with Sanders. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Up the middle they go with Sanders. In on the tackle, Kamoko Terrain. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's into the hands of Pascal. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A big pick up there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. The ball on the 8 still could get a first down technically. Second and 7. They'll run it, Sanders. They'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a gain of 4. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. They'll drop the throw. 
Under pressure, down it goes. Sacked at the 10. Dalvin Tomlinson in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Meanwhile, Cousins' throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line to throw Cousins. Eagle pressure too much this time. There he goes. The same rack, able to record his fifth sack of the season. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they get to him after a game of six to the fifth and six. The offense on third down converted a third of their opportunities three for nine this is third and 16. throwing there but this pass is going to land up the lead big and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half no points allowed since the break and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest and he is going to pick up the vikings first down and it is a big letdown there defensively they somehow allowed to convert on fourth and long they'll throw again cousins setting up the screen for cook and he'll be marked down at about the 26 yard line and just a yard to go here on second down From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He'll find Thielen working the middle. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Cousins. Open man, once again, it's Thielen. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. To throw again on second down. Cousins. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw out of a little too far. It brings up third down. Third and short yardage. Cousins. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Vikings. Albert Wilson from 10 yards out. And the Vikings are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. The point after is good. And the lead now down to 20. So still lots of work left to do. But here comes the onside kick. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Second down, back to Sanders. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 
His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And a loose football. And this belongs to the Vikings. Well, maybe it hasn't exactly been a Rembrandt, but they've been mistake-free to this point and finally cough it up. I don't think it's going to cost them the game. They should be fine. But, boy, they're going to hate that going back. And, and now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Looking to throw it. Minshew. Over the middle complete. It's Sanders. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But normally, you might say, start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Once again with Sanders. And he will take this one in for an Eagle touchdown. Kyle Sanders, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. What a game it's been for him in the backfield, Charles, as he pounds it into the end zone yet again. Yeah, and he hits the end zone one more time, and his blockers cleared all those lanes. Before the snap, they call for the heavy unit, right? Three tight ends coming on the field, and they got the job done clearing the way. Elliott on for the extra point. And that stretches the lead to 27. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Uh, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is in the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Cousins now to throw on first down. Bottom feeling back-to-back catches. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Again, it's Cousins. Out right to Jefferson, and he's got it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First down, here's Cousins. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. From the 25 on second down, Cousins looking middle, and it's incomplete. Here's play number seven on the draw. This is 37. Cousins. And that is incomplete. This point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this 
one feels like a lost cause. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. And he's got his tight end. That's Smith. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Throwing. Cousins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's got a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And he's got his man in stride, complete. So back to back goals, he's getting nothing. And that will lead to a third and goal. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And when you break it down, well, this was just a fairly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this. I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done.